Right now I'm going to go ahead and unattach and reattach the bucket on the TRS coupler. So in order to do that, we need to get over to our home screen. We're going to come down here to the left. You'll see the coupler position. I'm going to highlight that. And then as you'll see, I need to move over here to the unlock position. And as you, now it's unlocking. Bucket has come free. I'm going to unhook hook from it. Pull away. And now to reattach, I will come back in. And with that, as I'm walking back in to the front pin, once it's attached, I will rotate it up. And now I'm going to go to lock. You'll see a screen pop up. Telling you that it's in the, uh, the lock has been requested. And you'll notice there's a red rod there that's facing the operator above the bucket. It's showing me that the wedge is engaged, but I will check it to make sure all is good. Now we're going to talk about the bucket shake. The bucket shake on the machine is a feature that will allow an operator to add frequencies per minute if he's shaking out light material. In order to do that, you're going to press the number three button, which is the top left joystick, far right button. You're going to hold that down and you're going to move the right thumb roller on the joystick on the right side and that's going to give you this bucket shake. So now, we're going to go back center, we're going to go down and I'm going to show you how you can adjust the frequency level with the bucket shake. In order to do that, once again, we got to go into the menu and at the menu we're going to hit machine settings. And after machine settings, we're going to go down to work tools. And from there, we're going to go down to tilt rotator. And from there, we're going to go down to bucket shake. Now you'll see a screen there that this actually gives you what you need if you want to change the aggressiveness of the bucket shake. That's going to be the frequencies a minute that it allows. So you can modify how aggressive you want to be here. I'm going to say OK. I want it right there. I'm back. I'm going to go out. Back to my home screen. I'm going to go back into my tilt rotate. And now I'm ready to start digging again and I've readjusted the amount of velocity that I get out of the bucket shake. All right, we're gonna we're gonna go to what we call the home screen or the home return to dig function, which is to bring it back to zero or to where I preset my bucket. So as you dig, you can automatically always go back to the same position. So in order to do that, I brought up the screen, and you'll look over here. We can go ahead and let's just say we're gonna set that bucket at a degree or an angle of such like this, and that is where I want my bucket edge to always return to that position. So you'll see I've got it highlighted. We'll press it. And now that we have it there, I can move this bucket around in a couple other positions. I'll go up to the number 10 button on the right joystick, which is the furthest left top button. And I'll press and hold that. And it will bring me back to the position that I've required or asked for. So that will be every time that I have made a position change with the tilt rotate, I can hold this number 10 bu button and I'll bring it back to that functionality or that position. So with that, I'm gonna go ahead now and let's just tilt it back down and bring it into a, a level position that I want. Let's just say it's gonna be right there. I'll go back in here again. I'm gonna press and hold that. And now once again, I can go to that top left button or the number 10 button and I can hold it until it returns back into that position. Another feature in the display screen will allow an operator to change the flow rate of his rotation and his tilt on the TRS. In order to do that, we're going to go back into the menu. We're going to go to machine settings. 
For machine setting, we're going to go down to auxiliary work tools, we're going to go down to tilt rotate, and we're going to go down to speed limit. If you'll see right in here, the rotate and the tilt speed is set right now at 100%. I can change that rotation. As you'll see, I can go down to, let's just say I want to rotate at 60%. I'm going to say OK. My tilt speed, if I feel like my tilt speed is a little bit too fast, I can come back into my tilt speed and I can slide that down or run it through my screen button here and I can set OK and now I'm set at 60% and 60%. So I slowed down my rotation and I slowed down my speed to a more uh, position that suits me. For more information about this new TRS system along with other work tool attachments, please contact your local cat dealer.